Peace, it's Equality Fragrances coming to you from PG County, Maryland. Welcome to my cipher. A cipher is a person, place, a thing within my circumference. The understanding of my cipher is peace. For all those new to the channel, those who've been supporting me, and those just passing through, I humbly appreciate your support and they're taking the time out to watch my video. So with that being said, come on in, sit down, and let's build. Today, I'll be doing my designer list for my 4 for 4. Last week, I think I gave you Mancera and I gave you Alexandria, I believe. This week, I'm going to give you my designer, my niche list. These two lists were the hardest and they constantly change over the month. I put this in, took this out. So finally, I'm just going to sum it up and end it with these four fragrances that I chose. But like I did the other ones, I'm going to also talk about the runner up. And I'll be talking about the one I chose. What is the four for four for those who haven't followed? That is one, one fragrance for each season. It's four seasons. And so you have four fragrances you have to choose for life that you have in your collection that you can only wear one per season. So with that being said, let's go ahead and talk about the first one on the designer list. We're going to talk about the season of spring. We all know spring is the beginning of new life. It's still, at least in the Northeast, it's still a little cold. So I had to pick fragrances in all these seasons that I was like, well, what can I wear in the daytime, nighttime, any season, all around. So this was, it was really hard. Anyway, not to belabor the point, my runner up for spring comes from the house of Jaguar. And that is Jaguar Classic Gold. Yes, Jaguar Classic Gold. What you get from here are, you get a lot of citruses. You get a, a beautiful apple note, you get bergamot, you get lime, and you basically get vanilla with some woods. You get orange blossom that gives it a little floral aspect to it. This is highly complimented. You can see how much burn I get, I've given this, and for the amount of fragrances I have in my collection, this stands out. This is a mass pleasing fragrance you can buy for 16 strip of one $16 is all this is going to cost you you gonna get about six and a half maybe seven hours of longevity on this a beautiful 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 scent I don't want to use the word synthetic because synthetic is improperly used within the community I will say that the that the vanilla note and some of the fruits smell artificial. I like the word artificial. That describes it a little bit more. Synthetic is a lazy way of describing it, but it doesn't smell natural. It has um, an artificial scent to it, scent characteristic to it, but nonetheless, listen, <clears throat> we in the fragrance community like our fragrances to smell, um, smell authentic, to smell natural, we get all into it. The majority of people do not care. And when this comes off of your skin, it's going to pop. Highly complimented. My runner up, Jaguar Classic Gold. The one I chose for for the win was one that's a discontinued frag, but it is my favorite fragrance. This is my second bottle of it. Um, I should have probably doubled up on this because I like it that much. It's not a strong performer, but I love it. And that's Gucci Port Home Duh or two. This has this is a tea-based fragrance, black tea, some tobacco leaves, some violet leaves, some pimento. Um, I think you get some myrrh in here as well. A beautiful scent. This is more of a personal scent. So it's not gonna project maybe within the first 45 minutes to an hour. People will smell you, but you can you can you can overspray this. You can just spray this all over, but this is more of a personal scent. And on a personal level from my choices, I love this and I love this a lot this was my first tea based fragrance that introduced me into tea based fragrances um and it's always going to be a staple within my personal collection so my one that i chose was gucci for home duh coming in for the summer you already know you're going to need something that's extremely refreshing because we're dealing with high temperatures almost no matter where you are in the world to a certain degree you're gonna be dealing with extremely hot temperatures. You don't want nothing sticky or nothing too heavy, at least I don't. So I went with one that is popular, highly known, and that comes from the house of Dior, and that's Dior Home Cologne for the runner up. This is my runner up fragrance. What do you get out of this? This is a refreshing cup of lemonade. You can get three notes, bergamot, grapefruit blossom, and musk. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful scent. Unfortunately, the performance is lackluster. Four to five hours is all you're going to get out of this, but 
it is a very good four to five hours maybe the first 45 minutes to an hour is where you get the best put a lot of this on you can over spray this this is just refreshing i like this and i like this a lot especially in the extreme heat but my win is a 10 out of 10 fragrance for me it is my favorite out of the whole entire lineup and this Terra de Hermes Otres Fresh. Arguably one of the best designer citrus scents in the market. This is a beautiful orange note. Oh man. You get a orange accord up top, a nice juicy orange. You're gonna get um, a water cord. You're gonna get a lot of woody notes in the base. Um, definitely get a little bit of veteran here, maybe a little bit of oak moss, some cedar wood. This is amazing with some geranium that rounds it out, gives it a little bit of punch. This is amazing. About six, six and a half hours is what I get on this, sometimes seven. Again, temperature varies, your skin will vary. But this is arguably one of the best citrus scents on the market. Designer, niche, I do not care. If you are wearing this in life during a high temperature, you're winning. This is sophistication, yet playful. White t-shirt, yet suited up. Linen outfit or basketball shorts. It does not matter. This is ruling the scene. This is absolutely stunning. I love this. 10 out of 10 fragrance for me. Carried in Hermes, ultra fresh for the win for the summer. Now, we getting into my favorite time of the year. That is fall and winter to wear fragrances. I love this time. You get really creative. Tobacco, ooze, leather, gourmands, vanillas, ambers, tonka. Man, the fall and winter is where you really have to show out. The most of my money I spend always goes to fall and winter fragrances. Anyway, for my fall, this runner-up fragrance was a fragrance I saw Jen since do a first impression on. Listen, he has a certain look with him. When he smelt this, and you can tell he didn't have a lot of expectation for this, when he put his nose on it, he had this face. I immediately stopped the video and ordered two bottles of this. Immediately ordered two bottles of it. I knew it was going to be fire. And that's from the house of Izzy. And that is, um, it knew it, the Izzy um, Pulse of the Night. And amazing scent. Very warm. Very inviting, you get some leather, you get some vetiver. Um, other woody, of course, I might be cedar wood might be in here as well. You get the foursome. What is the foursome? Amber, vanilla, sandalwood, tonka. When I see those four notes in any fragrance, I know I may have some heat on my hands. For me, if I see those four, it is on. Now, people have smelt this and say that it reminds them of Harry by Parfums de Mali. I do not see it. But if you see it, that's what your olfactive memory tells you. To me, it leans more on a Mir and Tonka kind of scent. If it had lavender at the top, it would remind me more of Mir and Tonka. But nonetheless, regardless of what it reminds you of, this is a very nice scent to wear in the fall. A nice scarf kind of scent. Amazing. I like this. I like this a lot. I wouldn't pay a lot of money for this. Don't spend a lot of money. It's always coming up at discounters. I wouldn't spend no more than about 65, maybe $70 for this at most. And that's probably too much to be honest. Maybe more about the 50 range. Um, for my winner for the fall is Lode Izzy, Poor Home, Muir Ombre. Listen, I love my amber scents in this time of year. Amazing, some saffron, some nutmeg. You have the threesome, which is vanilla, amber, tonka. You have some leather, some woody notes, some um, uh, coriander might be in this. Um, some cedar wood. This is a nice, warm, spicy, little resinous amber scent. From a designer, this is absolutely clutch. Man, unfortunately, it is extremely hard to find, but why am I putting this on my list since it's hard to find? Because I'm gonna tell you, I was lucky enough, and people were talking about this two years ago, I believe, when it was hard to find, or maybe about a year and a half ago. I found this bottle by somebody doing a sale in a Facebook group for, I think, only paid like 120, maybe 110 back in December, the just passed. November, December, the just passed. So 
If you look around, you can find it. If you find it, it is worth a pickup for me. At least for me, it was. So my um, winner for the fall is Lode Izzy New Orleans Ombre. Last but not least are my winter scents. This was a little hard, but it wasn't hard because I was just flipping back and forth on which scent I was going to choose for the winner. But for my runner up, I chose arguably the best designer oud you can buy on the market. And that is Gucci Intense Oud. An amazing scent. What you're going to get hit with this is um, incense, woody accord, some leather, um, some and some amber is what you get in here. And you know, in the oud, of course. But basically to sum it up, you get smoky woods rounded off with a resinous amber and some leather is what you get with this. An amazing scent. People have compared this to Black Afghano. I mean, I get it, but I don't get it because they don't smell the same to me. But if your old fact of memory puts you in that place, I can't tell you you're wrong. I'm just saying I disagree with you. But um, I can also see how you would say that. Um, a great scent, um, very wearable. It's going to cut through the winter time. Um, if you're getting into ooze and you're not really sure, this is a good one to start off with. Do not pay a lot of money for this on the resale market. I would not pay over 120 strip ones to be exactly. And to be honest, you can probably find this for about $104 is what you can probably find this for. And amazing ooze, a great designer ooze, one to definitely check out if that's your kind of cup of tea. But the one I chose to wear for the winter, and I can only have one, it be Dior Home Parfum. What can I say about this beauty? Um, rose, leather, iris, sandalwood, ooh. A very nice scent. A very, very, very nice scent. Off the nozzle, I don't get it, but when I spray it on my skin, I don't know if it's the sandalwood, but I get this creamy vanilla kind of feel that pops off of my skin. I also get this dusting of cacao, like this cacao cord that comes off my skin, which I don't know if that's the musk mallow and the sandalwood creating a cacao cord, but I get that off of my skin. So I get this chocolatey, um, rosy leather um, that's a little smoky that comes from the oud. This is, this is nice. I love this. I love this a lot. I know this supposed to have been discontinued, and they're coming out with 100 ml of this. Word is that this, which is 75 ml, smells just like, or the 100 ml smells just like the 75 ml. I can't speak to that. I haven't smelt it. I can't tell you. But this is a great scent. If you get an opportunity, put your nose on it, try it out. If you want to wear this to work, you can wear this to work. Maybe do one spray, maybe one spray and a half because of Dior, you can kind of control how it sprays out. But I like this, I like this a lot. Very elegant, very sophisticated in the winter. It just it just does what it does. A great scent and a masterpiece in my eyes. So with that being said, your home parfum for the winter. So people, that was my designer 444 list that I chose. I hope you like this list. Please down below, y'all know I like interacting with you all. Comment, I'm gonna comment back now. There's been a few things I noticed with my comments, like sometimes I'll see an alert for a comment and I'll look and I won't see it. If I miss your comment, a lot of times I go back and I check it and I'll respond to it. I respond to all comments for the most part and it's just not a generic like thank you. I tend to try to respond to all my comments. Um, please build onto this. There are gonna be people who also read comments. They, you might have another four that you might choose. Put that four down there. Let's discuss it. You might name a fragrance that I haven't I haven't smelt that I might want to be into. So listen, I'm not the end all the be all. This is our cipher. This is our community. Add on to the cipher. It's always about adding on in order to gain, put add knowledge into the cipher to bring out the knowledge. So with that being said, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Oh, and one more favor. I did a video that I was doing my 1K giveaway that I asked for 300 likes. We have not reached that 300 like mark. I'm not gonna break my rules. I've really said 400. I'm not breaking the rules of 300, but I wanna give out these decants. I want somebody to win, but if I don't get 300, I'm not liking it. I have well over 1,500 views and I only have like 230 likes. Let's get that video like up so I can do the giveaway for that. The link will be in the description so I can hurry up and give that out. I promise people will win, 
but I also said I need 300 likes. So it is what it is on that video. Um, I'll link it in the description. So if you haven't liked it yet, even if you can't participate because it's the US only only, just, just like it so we can move on from that. I really appreciate it. So with that being said, follow me on IG. Um, I'm gonna leave you the way I greeted you. And that's in universal language of peace.